Hello everybody, welcome to Mantle Farm with myself Josh and soon to be joined by Roger, our experienced beekeeper. Now, uh, just quickly run through a couple of the things we saw last week, covered quite a lot in last week's video. Um, now we'll start with the WBC and uh, upon inspection we noticed we'd got seven frames or seven seams of bees uh, we did see the queen in that inspection and she's marked white. Um, we also made a note that they've got a lot of eggs as well. Um, so uh, plenty of eggs, four frames of brood, mostly capped and a good pattern. We gave them a 10 for temper as well, so they were looking pretty good. And it was similar weather to today actually, really nice, warm, sunny day. Now, uh, we did have the frame of sack brood, or sorry, the, the cell of sack brood I should say. Um, and as Roger pointed out in the last video, it's nothing to be particularly alarmed about, but it is something to note. Is that something we need to be alarmed about? Uh, if there's only one, or if there's only a few, then no. But if it was, you know, I mean, if all this, if all this sealed brood were unsealed and, and sack brood larvae, then I'd be concerned. We're probably not going to look in the national this week, uh, unless there's anything of note. But uh, we'll have a look to see whether we've got any more seams. Um, of bees, any more brood, uh, how they are for stores, how their temper is today. Um, had a little look in just earlier and they are flying and bringing back pollen. Now, uh, the hive that we looked in last week that had, was queenless, we made the decision in the end not to bother adding any additional brood um, for fear that it might not be adequately incubated and it would give the bees, the too few bees in the polynuke, um, uh, the, no opportunity to actually incubate them properly. Uh, the National Hive again only had one frame of proper brood, two, two frames total but one of capped and one with eggs and uh, again uh, well tempered bees but uh, we'll be seeing whether or not um, there's anything much going on there uh, of note but otherwise we'll focus primarily on the WBC and uh, we'll best take a look and see how they're getting on. Well so last nice. week we had that sack um, possible cell of sack brood, didn't we? Yeah. Do you think we're likely to see that? Do you think that what will they have done with that? Do well, think? Jill said she didn't see it on Sunday. No. So do you think they or probably Saturday. took it? They probably took it out. They're clever like that, aren't they? Yeah. Bit of a smoke under the crown board. Mm-hmm. Oh my goodness, they're Gosh. larping through that fondant. They've been busy. They've even started making a bit of comb in there, haven't they? Yep. And you moved the brood towards the centre last week, didn't you? Yep. So, because they were all up against that far wall. What I'm going to do is, as it's a nice day, I'm going to scrape those cappings off that. And while we're scraping them off, to encourage them to... Just to encourage them to, to shove it about a bit. I mean, if, it, if it's... Well, some of it is probably crystallised around here. Yeah, yeah. That doesn't look as though it's crystallised there, but it could be. Um, but if it's uncapped, then they will be attracted to it. They'll eat it, and then they'll deposit it again somewhere else. Is that new? That's new coming in there, is it? Would you say? Uh, that down there is probably new stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And the the orangey colour. That's the staining from. I guess they've got pollen on them as they've gone around that. Yeah. It's just uh, just uh, just encouraging them to sort of tend more towards what you want them to do, which is do a big brood nest. Mm. And a decent size, decent colony for people to look at. So that if they ever do see a full size colony while they're, when they start beekeeping them themselves, they're not totally terrified. Absolutely, because it can be quite daunting, can't it? To oh yes. Have a look in it, especially, if, I mean these, we gave these a 10 last week on our yeah. behavior scale which is good i'd say they're 10 again aren't they well yeah so far they've been pretty they've good just been really good and we haven't really smoked them much so no gave a little bit under the crown board didn't do the entrance yeah uh, well my my feeling is that if you if you smoke the entrance you just drive the guard bees onto the combs which is not where you want them no <laughs> you're just about to pull them out that's a good point actually. just as well stay at the entrance they cap they've they braced that quite a bit haven't they yeah it's a seasonal thing. They do it in the spring when the 
and in the autumn when they when the brood nest is smaller and and the weather's not reliably warm. So the pollen that we're seeing there is that a good indication that we're probably very close to the brood? Yep. Right. So we've reached the brood. So we have brood, sealed brood on both sides. There's larvae on that side. Right. So I'm just going to scrape some of this off because what happens is that because you've broken it, they're inclined to go back to it. They're inclined to go back to either repair it or, or remove it. And then when you put the frames back into the box, they won't move out the way and they get squashed trapped between the bits of brace comb which is you know that's not good not good and once you've done it you not what you can do about it to remedy the situation and then it goes back in and gently lower it engage the lugs on the sidebars without getting <coughs> any bees in the in the way and gently lower it down and keep listening while you're doing this because all of us you can trap a bee's foot and it will then go Bzzz! and at that point if you go back a quarter of an inch or up a quarter of an inch with the frame then you release that bee and off it goes happy as Larry. So we're going to give them a dust? Uh, I think I'll dust them from the top when we've like we did last time gone through. Um, I'm not actually seeing, I haven't actually seen anything of any alarm. Much varroa on any of the bees, which is, you know, usually a, a, a sign to sort of take some fairly drastic action. And there's the queen of this one, right in the middle. And you see her at home. With the white spot. Oh, yeah. Um, she is quite a nice, she's quite a dark queen, isn't she? Mm. She's just plodding around, isn't she? She's yeah. not running Some serious around. blossom on that tree now, isn't there? Oh, yes. It's beautiful. I shall, having suddenly thought of that, I shall remedy this, remedy this situation immediately by working it out. But, I mean, it just means that rather than having to um, move frames up against each other, you, you go through, your, your gap goes, you take this, dummy board out of this end put it down you then got a gap yeah you take your first frame out and you put it against this end wall yeah and then all the others just go in sliding sidebar to sidebar so you're not creating so you're not leaving gaps that you then yeah. close up at the end and oh, inevitably you're going to crush bees doing that because they only need you know just a bit less than a quarter inch to get into that's right. And yeah. you can't necessarily see them, especially the 14 by 8, be, or 14 by 12 rather, because they're... Quite far down. Uh, they can be well down below you, where you can see in the dark. We've got One a, dancing, a newly emerged bee there. Oh, yeah. Um, well, she did, so she, her job is to go in and just clean the cells, isn't it? Yep. And she's having a bit of a... She's quite fresh, isn't she? She's yep. still a bit stumbly. But she is doing her job. She's having a look. There's uh, quite a few really new bees on that one. Working away. She's doing the waggle dance, isn't mm. she? Look at that. There's several doing the waggle. One with yeah, pollen on her. Pollen on. What do you think that pollen is? Is that a... Uh, that... Was it that one probably, there? Probably willow, I think. That yellow. Mm. Uh, that's... A bit more orange, that might be plum or blackthorn or something like that. And they're quite excited about whatever it is they're mm -hmm. finding. I found a lot of it, apparently. So, we've checked our colonies and uh, all seems to be going in the right direction. And we've got uh, the same amount of brood in uh, the WBC, but more seams of bees. So, it shows you the importance of keeping that record. Uh, seams, not just how many frames of brood. Uh, had a quick peek in the national, um, but uh, again, all looking quite well in there as well. And we did actually manage to capture uh, a glimpse of the queen laying a couple of uh, eggs as well, which was rather That's nice. Rummy, didn't she? See mm -hmm. what, what those? Oh, look, there she is. There she is, laying an egg. 
That's amazing, isn't it? You think they'd give her a bit of space when she's doing that, wouldn't you? They're all over her. And there she goes, on to the next one. So she's doing her thing, doing mm -hmm. it again, look, look at that. I mean, that's incredible, isn't it? She, she is just one after the other laying eggs there, isn't she? Yep. Wow. Uh, we've dusted both of the hives with uh, icing sugar once again, just to try and keep things uh, reasonably uh, good with Varroa. So all being well, we'll see you again next week.